Hi, I want to go through the installation and use of a nice little application or app called Air Server today. Now basically what Air Server does is it allows your iPhone or iPad to connect with your desktop computer or laptop and view the information from the iPhone directly on your screen. The reason I do this is because I, I need to produce a set of videos with the screen share activated for my iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 4S by the way and I believe it works with other iPhones but I'm not sure if it wor will work with the older versions. Now, in order to get this to work, you need to download the software, and I'll, I'll give you a link at the underneath the video. And you need to download, I've just downloaded the free version currently, uh, but will upgrade to the paid version. I think it's only about $14 or thereabouts, because I, I do a lot of uh, screen sh share and recording and want to carry on using this after this seven day trial period. Now once it's installed on your computer you'll know uh, because there will be a, an icon called Air Server running in your toolbar and you need to take another step on your iPhone or iPad and depending on which model you have will depend on which system you use to get to the air server and connect it. On the 4S that I'm using you swipe up from the bottom and you can see the air server is connecting with my computer, the Dell XPS here which I can disable or enable whenever I, I like. And you also need to make sure that you've got your settings set for personal hotspot. And once your personal hotspot is running and you can see here, personal hotspot is running, and there's one connection currently. To disable that, you would click on the, the green button on your iPhone, enabling it again will bring back the air server. And you can check to see whether you're connected to the personal hotspot by looking at your network connections. Now I'm currently connected by cable uh, to the network and also my iPhone is connected to a USB port on that computer. So if we, I go back to the AirPlay and choose Dell XPS it will appear back on the screen again. You need to make sure that it's mirroring your iPhone screen output to Air Server. And that just about covers the connection and bits and pieces that you need to do with AirPlay. I'm looking forward to using this uh, more over the, the next few months simply because I. I want to do a lot of recording and teaching on how to use an iPhone. One thing I would mention is that I would recommend that you switch off your personal hotspot when you're not using it because other people can then connect to your personal hotspot and get access to your network if, in the case that I have it connected 
and you really don't want that so leave it off when you're not using and then enable the personal hotspot for when you are using it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.